Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. It has been a long holiday time for me. I have really taken a really good break for myself, which I've really enjoyed. I've been busy on some projects and just totally taken a break on others. So uh, I'm back to try out this uh, new premix that I found in the warehouse here in New Zealand. Um, I had had a request from somebody to trial it for them and uh, I spotted it and thought, oh, yes, there it is. I'll give that a go. So it's jazz art and it's actually what I have, I did a bit of research and jazz art is actually the company that is dealing with Reeves in this part of the world. So I'm intrigued to see how it matches up to the Reeves premix that we tried end of last year um, I have not shaken these at all but we've got a red a very fluorescent looking yellow a blue which is kind of almost got a purple tinge to it it's um along that oh no I got it at Bunnings that's right I didn't get it at the warehouse I know the warehouse is selling jazz art but I'm not sure they have these premixes uh, I have a black and two whites and each bottle is 60 mils which is two ounces so we are going to give these a go and um, in the name of true testing <laughs> I'm actually not going to bore you with two videos I'm going to do my normal two videos all in one so the first one will be no silicon added the second one will be silicon added and we'll see how they go plus we'll be able to get more of a test of colors and stuff like that so it was 20 dollars for this mix which in american is around about uh 13 us dollars and in the uk that's about 10 pound i think somewhere around there roughly that's how the conversion rates are. So, what grand and glorious adventures can we have with this? Um, I love that question. What grand and glorious adventures can I have? So, I'm going to do a 8 by 10 And um, for the first one, I'm going to do a funnel pour. Because funnel pours are fun. And if you don't have a funnel at home... You can pick them up from a coin save, like whole sets of them. I think I got this set um, from a coin save for like $2 and it's three different sizes and can have lots of fun. So pop those, pop that on there just to lift it up. Any extra paint that you don't want. It's, you don't want your painting sitting in the paint and you want to be able to pick it up without disturbing what's run off the sides because sometimes you get some really, really, really pretty stuff running off the sides. So, I um, haven't opened these at all, so we're going to quickly eek, oh, as quickly as I let me take those things off so that we can squirt. So how have you all been? We had interesting trip for Christmas. We went um, went down to Nelson, which if you've ever looked at a map of New Zealand, we're kind of in the top half of the North Island, and Nelson is on the top of the South Island. That, that's very rough. Um, but that's give you a hint. My brother-in-law and his family live down there, so we all converged. They're the only ones that live in the South Island, and so and there's ended up being 27 of us for Christmas Day. We have no internal um, restrictions on travel or group sizes in New Zealand because we have no community transmission at this point, which is fantastic. Very grateful and. Uh, my thoughts go out to all of you out there that are in lockdown and 
um, any of you that have been affected directly with COVID. Love and hugs and special thoughts to all of you. Um, so, ugh. <laughs> wipe that off of my mouth. Used my teeth for that one. I'm trying to do it quickly for you. Um, does say non-toxic on the box, so I should be okay. <laughs> First off, before we start, I'm going to use that paint that's on those. And just give you an indication of the colour. You can see that um, that yellow is quite transparent. So if we now go back through and mix that with the blue. Mix that with the red. They're not my favourite tones of colour. Let's do a red and blue mix, see if what sort of purple we can get. Oh, but I like that. You guys know me. I like purple. Burgundy. My wedding dress was burgundy even. How's it get any better? Okay. So, first step is, now that I've got all the lids off, let's put a splash of white, splash of yellow, blue, red, black. It's the only splash of black I'm going to do because you've got to be careful with that. And let's go around again. How much colour do I need? Now, in the picture on the box, it doesn't show... If I can get it to focus for me. It doesn't show any sign of cells so I'm not actually expecting any so let's see what happens now because I put that white on the, on the bottom we've got a layer of white and the blue and the yellow have made an interesting green gonna smear this leftovers around a bit and that's so not enough color <laughs> you guys know that you can see that there's so not enough paint there just pop some of those air bubbles so let's just um add some more white around the outside just to Give it a little bit more colour, a little more paint to spread. I still don't think that's quite enough. Let's see. I can hear somebody out there going, why are you putting black on this painting? Just because I can, you know. This is the cool thing about doing your own art. Follow your knowing. Don't follow a recipe. Do what you want to do, guys. It'll be much more fun for you if you create what you want to create. And what if you started adding that into your life as well? No, don't do that. You might stand out. You might be different. That might be terrible. Oh my goodness me, what terrible results that would create if we would all be ourselves and be different. I'm joking. Please do. Be you. Change the world, my friends. Amazing book by Dr. Dane here. Anyway, right. Taking time to do this. 
let's see what else is possible <laughs> who knows what we're going to create here could be grand and glorious mess I'm just going to roll it around. Let's just bring that white over the edges of the corner. Now rolling it round like that has created this jagged look and it is actually a fun thing to do if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for nice and smooth, do not roll it round like that. <laughs> so while it's just starting to run down the canvas to that last corner, I'm just going to... Just pop any air bubbles. Nearly there. You can do it. There we go. All right. What does it look like? <laughs> A mess. Yes, there's one answer. Correct. Could also be... What can you see in that? It almost looks like a weather system happening on the planet. So no cell structures. Don't expect cells straight from the bottle with this stuff. Right. That's definitely not quite what I was looking for, what do you reckon? But it's interesting. You guys can all hear me going, I just want to scrape it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let it set. I'm going to let it dry, see what happens to it. Um, see what the paint does. And I'm going to grab another canvas and be right back. Okay, so let's move that one out of the way and move this other canvas in the way. I'm going to do a different different possibility with this. Now, one of the things that annoys me greatly about these pre-mixes is you've got these tiny little bottles of very little paint and to add silicon into the paint itself, you have to then get another vessel dirty to mix the silicon into. So what silicon am I using? I'm using my trusty steed, Durex Perfect Glide, which is, and the reason I use this is it is 100% dimethicone. That's all it says on the ingredients. Okay, I'm going to use my old bottle that you can't read anymore. <laughs> um, and I'm going to put it into the red because in that other painting, um the red did not show through and i really want the red to show through whoops so let's have a look how runny it is that's it's actually quite similar to the consistency that i would normally do my paintings 
I'm only going to put tiny amounts of silicon in there and stir that up. Maybe even put a bit, I did put too much silicon in. That's okay. Right. So now we need another vessel. Here's one I prepared earlier. Um, so if you're really into reusing and recycling, I use a um, seal cutter. Let me get in close on my tuna tins they have nice smooth sides and then use a seal cutter to open them rather than pulling the tab actually and that then gives you a lid so you can re you know you can mix up paints and store them for a while quite airtight because once that lid gets pushed back on there it's a bit of nice and sealed so we're going to put that there and we're going to Start off with some blue. Let's just make sure you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to pour it in the corner and pour some red into there. Now, this is what we call a dirty cup pour, and it's where you make sure that the colors mix by pouring from reasonably up high. You um, and you don't try and layer them, you don't try and get a nice even. See how by pouring from quite high, or if you're doing from a squeezy bottle like this, just squeeze the bottle so it comes out at pressure. Um, then you can uh, just put a little bit, not too much black, black can take over really, really dynamically. So just whoop. okay. Let's scrape that out. Make sure we get all of that yummy siliconized paint. Um. Now what I know is one of these tins is um how much is needed to cover one of these canvases because i've done a lot of them why because you can buy these canvases in bulk lots i kicked myself the other day um they went on sale down i buy them in packs of 40 and um they went on sale down from 110 dollars down to 80 and I was like oh great that's awesome that's a good deal and bought them and then two weeks later ta-da they came down to only $55 they came down half price I was like ah gutted oh well. or I'd already bought them so we're going to do a dirty cup flip so I'm just going to pop the canvas on top of the cup turn it upside down just like that and then we're going to see what happens. Are we ready for this? Knock, knock, knock. Paint, are you there? <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to... Look at that. Even that's funky. Ooh. That's gone a bit muddy. So one of the things about premixes, and I've said this before and I will say it again, one of the things about premixes is you don't get to control how runny your paint is. And the runnier the paint, the more it mixes together. Okay. The more it mixes together, the more you're likely to get dirty colours like this. Can you hear the airplane?
So the runnier the paint, the more the quickly, more quickly the silicon comes to the top, and the more cells you get. But the um, runnier the paint, the more likely you are to get uh, what's it called? Muddy colours, and also the more likely you are to get if your painting is not completely flat. The paint just to run completely off the table. I remember that happening a lot to people in the early days. So I'm just going to run, see how many cells we're getting coming up there because I've got that silicon in the red. Woohoo, we got some funky cells in there guys. Just give me a chance and I will bring you up. So the cool thing about the dirty cut pour is you get lots of different layers of the colors and the more layers of the colors when the cells come up you get more funky looking cells look at those okay all right so now that we've got all of that it's time to tilt um, I do have a minimum amount of paint on here because as you saw the tin was not completely full so what I'm going to do is use what we call a corner catcher and that's literally just a strip of cardboard this is an old cereal box bent to make a 90 degree angle and so then what happens is when you tilt the paint to the corner it doesn't all run off the sides before it gets to the corner and you lose a lot less paint see Just. and then I'm going to bring the corner catcher back to this bit other corner here stop it from all falling off and then pull it back a bit And then over to the corners of the other side, right on through to the other side. We have got some funky as cells on this. And as you stretch the paint out across the canvas, it stretches the cells. And the more directions you tip it in and the less you pull it back before you go again, the more wonky shaped cells you get. See how? These cells here in the corner have got some wonky, but like what happened in this one, got all that because I went round and round and round and round. But with this one, you'll see I've just gone to the four corners, I pulled up the bulk of the paint back to the center before going to the next one, and the cells have kept a lot more circular. How's that for a cool word? Circular. All right, so it takes silicon really well. We know that much. Just check I got all my sides. Now, one of the things you can do is you can look at it and go, okay, is there any areas I'm not excited about? I mean, I'm quite liking these patches where there aren't any cells. It kind of gives it you that variation. But if you wanted to and you really wanted lots of cells, now that you've stretched it, you could go in and spot treat areas with your little fire gun. That's what they use for doing creme brulee and stuff. Um, and you could go in and spot treat a certain area and just see if there's any cells that want to come up. So just by giving it a little bit of a thing, I've got broken up that patch of white down there. Let's see if I can... See, so yeah, I've managed to get some cells show up in that spot. Okay. So I think this one is going to be quite a good example of the paint itself um, because 
we've got the different layers we've got the different colors within the cells uh, all showing up but it's also given us a really good indication of your red and blue quantities is really going to depict what your background color is I'm interested to see how like the fluorescent yellow over here dries because it is a transparent color and sometimes when they then dry they almost disappear so that'll be interesting to to watch these bright yellow patches and then where the yellow and red have mixed together we've got quite a nice looking orange I do like this blue it's, it's very much a bright vibrantish blue so what happens now we wait we are in the throes of heat wave at the moment shouldn't take it long to dry um, so I should have you the results of this within the next day or so and then I can post the video up which I'm very excited to to be doing a video for the first time in ages <laughs> and I promise I will do more I promise I promise <laughs> all right guys uh, I will be back to show you the dry results of both these pieces in three two one well they're dry um can't say I'm overly excited about these colors <laughs> I do like the blue it's very much like ultramarine it's uh, dried quite nicely the yellow I've never been a fan of fluorescent yellow so it's not exciting me now <laughs> um, and the red I think it's tainted way too much by that yellow. It's um hasn't gone particularly pink where it's been with the white and I don't know whether I can I capture this on here nicely. I think it's just not bright enough for me. So the yellow's too bright and <laughs> the red's not bright enough. But they got the blue right. Let's have a look. There's the blue. Quite like that blue. Oh well. It's uh this is one of the things the other things that with regards to the premixes is you don't have a lot of selection of colours. Uh I do prefer to be able to mix my own colours. And uh, so there we go. That's with regards to colours. I'm not seeing anything other than a swirly cloud mass on a bizarre planet. If you can see anything in that, some sort of, I don't know, maybe that way around we can see a... a some animal's head with its beady little eye and scary little scales or something i'm not i don't really see anything but <laughs> let me know if you see something in there um and let's move on to this one again that red it's not my color it looks overexposed I do like the cells. The cells have come out really well, nice and clear and crisp. Um, the paint is obviously of a reasonable quality. We've not got um, much powdery look to it at all. The quality of the seal, it really does give you the sense of acrylic paint. Um, rather than like a chalky effect that some paints can give you so if you like these colors I recommend it if you don't like the colors don't go there 
Now, Jazz does have um, a range of tube paints, and uh, I do have the intention to, at some point, play with those. So stay tuned for when I start mixing those up and playing with them. Um, but for now, this pre-mix set that I think comes down to solely and only whether you love the colours. They are not my faves, but uh, somebody out there I'm sure will love them. So, there we go. If you love those colours, then head on out and find yourself some jazz. I haven't even looked on uh, Amazon to see if they're available on Amazon or not. But if they are, check the links in the description. I will put them in my shop uh, if they are there. So go and have a look in my Amazon shop and see if I found them. And I may even... When I edit this i'll probably pop a little note down here somewhere um if i found them or not so there you go uh check them out if you love these colors and uh i am back into painting i have some more paintings uh another another video recorded just waiting for those to dry so i will get those out and uh just a word of warning to you all I will be going live in the next week so if you are wanting to come and play with me give me hints and tips about what colors to use and what style to do it and whether or not to scrape and start again and all those fun things that we get up to on those lives um, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, make sure that the bell notification is set up I also do have an email list that I send out a notification to those that are on the email list and um, the day before the class, the class, sorry, <laughs> in facilitator mode rather than artist mode, um, 24 hours before I will give you a heads up as to what time we're going live. So if you, the link for that is also in the description. And if you actually want to talk to me, like use your voice and be live on the, the recording and and um, not have to type, then you can join the Patreon group um, and you also get a voucher for a free uh, print, one free print a month. So I adore you. Thank you for coming to play. I hope you are all starting out your January as much ease, joy, and glory that you, as you can choose. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.